One of the coolest things that I have seen lately is relays that go inside of panels. Most people have QO panels, Schneider Electric, you know, uh, their QO panels are everywhere, commercial, residential, like they're all over the place. So rather than having to go like buy some brand that's like a $4,000, $7,000 panel with a bunch of relays and stuff in it, Schneider was really smart and they're like, why don't we just make relays for our panels? So these things connect, uh, you know, those of you that are not familiar with this, this is a wiser uh, energy monitor. So this goes inside of the panel and I'm gonna wire this all together and show you how it works, but essentially this becomes a brain that can talk to your phone and through your phone, you can turn relays on and off. So a perfect situation would be, say you wanted to install like a Tesla charger or something like that, and your service is already at capacity or you have a sub panel or something, and you just, you're at capacity. You can't add 60 more amps or 80 amps or whatever. So you need to be able to shed some of your loads so that you can use some bigger load rather than having to go get, you know, $3,000, $5,000, $8,000 to upgrade your entire service for that. Why not throw some relays in, shed a few loads and then charge your car. And then when it's done, unplug it, turn those loads back on. You can turn off things that aren't critical that you're not using, um, but that ensures that you have the capacity that you need. So these are two relays that they sent. And this one is a two pole 30 amp. So I can control a two pole, you know, up to 30 amp breaker. I've got a two pole 20 that I'm gonna control with it. And then this one is 120 volt, but you can have two loads. So I can have two 120 volt loads that I can control with this relay, or I can have one 240 volt load that I control with this relay. So let's wire this whole thing and set it all up, see how it works. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I need to wire the relays to the actual breakers themselves. You have to wire this very specifically. There's instructions that come with it. So here you can see me bringing my incoming power into the relay. From the relay, I'm gonna bring jumpers that go down to my breakers. So now these relays are controlling the breakers, but the load is intercepted and running through the relay. Now that I've got my relays and my breakers wired how I want them, I need to get the energy monitor installed into the system. So this energy monitor, I'm gonna stick in the bottom of the panel, and I just want it to stay out of the way in the bottom of the panel. There's a couple of things I have to hook up to it. The first thing I have to hook up are donuts, and the donuts wire really, really easily into this thing. They just snap in place, and then I bring the donuts up to the actual feeders and I stick one on each one of the incoming hots or ungrounded conductors. What this allows me to do is this energy monitor is going to be able to see the power that's coming into this panel and it's gonna be able to give me a whole bunch of information about my usage. Then the next thing I need to do is connect the energy monitor to a breaker. So it's gonna have its own breaker that feeds the energy monitor and it's also gonna be monitoring the incoming feeders that feed the panel with the donuts that we connected up above. Now that we've got everything installed, I sync everything up with my Sense app. So in this Sense app, I can actually see what devices I've got. This is receptacles, any other smart devices, but in here you'll see two pole 30 to show a relay. So I'm gonna add one more relay. I go into connected devices, Wiser control relay and it sees the existing one that I've already got stalled. I'm gonna add another. It says bring the device next to my energy monitor. So I'm gonna let it sit here. Oh. Then it says scan the QR code. So I have to push the button so the screen comes on. Hit scan QR code. Hold this for five seconds. QR comes up. Let's do this as top and do this as bottom. All right, so now you can see I have three relays in here. It says that I have three of them. Then I'm gonna to go to my devices and I can see all the devices that I have on this system. So right here, I've got a two pole 30 relay and then this top and bottom. So now all we have to do is we can click this one, turn the relay on, boom, it turns it on. This light bulb is controlled on this relay. 
turn it on, shows what the usage is on there, and I can turn it off. So now I have control over everything in my system, as many relays as I want to install, or if I'm just trying to load shed and I want to try to fit something else in here, it allows me to turn certain things off so I can turn other things on and kind of control what is being powered at any given time. I think that's pretty cool. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any comments, questions. There's a link in the description below if you guys want to check these out. Talk to you guys later.